2019, we started to build the opposition against Ondo Pinavir Tanavir, which the years had been led to high prices. We were preparing to oppose when Israel issued the compulsory license, and then a bit drop pipe and dry spoke a letter which cost three times higher than generic product. Hundreds of people in Belarus couldn't get access to treatment earlier because of every cleaning patent on Coletra. We cannot rely on big pharma and their voluntary actions, so we will continue with the strategy of challenging patent. In 2021, people plus filled the position against patent on Bedekvidin. Our position has been rejected and now we are going to argue this decision at the Supreme Court. In case of withdrawing of this patent, generic companies will be able to produce better green, ensuring available price that, that doesn't leave patients without vital needed them treatment. On the 14th of April 2021, we have filed a lawsuit against the patent for the medication Bedequilin. It is a medication used for the treatment of tuberculosis. It is extremely expensive at the moment and constitutes an incredibly high burden for our country's economy. This is due to the fact that the patent owner has artificially extended its patent from 2023 up to 2028. This means that our country will be overpaying for the treatment of our tuberculosis patients for an additional five years. We were absolutely against this action. That's why we initiated this lawsuit. Our case is being examined at the moment and we are expecting a court hearing in November. In 2019, together with Médecins du Monde, Doctors of the World, we filed a patent opposition at the European Patent Office on Novartis CAR T cell therapy Kimraya. This therapy, which consists of withdrawing white blood cells from a patient, genetically engineer them and reject them into the same patient, is not a medicine, but a medical service. Furthermore, it has not been invented by Novartis, but through university research and public funding. It is abusively priced at over 300,000 euros for a single injection. We decided to file this opposition as the claimed subject matter lacked novelty and inventive steps. Several papers were published prior to this patent that already described the technology. Five months after our opposition, Novartis decided to relinquish this challenged patent. Novartis also withdrew another application for a patent that was still under examination and that contained similar claims. Although these revocations do not lift the entire monopoly over Kimraya, as other patents had already been granted before and cannot be opposed anymore, this landmark victory still uh, weakens the monopoly position of Novartis in view of future price reviews. This revocation by Novartis also highlights the abuses of monopoly, as this patent should have never been granted in the first place. In Guatemala, the Industrial Property Registry offices received a patent application for the antiretroviral remdesivir treatment for high-risk COVID-19 patients. On April 2021, ITPC Latka presented a patent opposition which had been rejected twice. But the challenge continued until it do not be filed in the future. In Honduras, on July 2021, ITPC Latka filed an application for nullity on the antiretroviral Doravirin's patent based on not having enough technical, scientific, and legal arguments regarding this country's patentability requirements. The challenge is to have nullity declaration. For our region, it's essential to promote these actions to expand treatment coverage for all people in need. 
in 2015 and 2017, we filed two patent opposition at the European Patent Office against Sophos Buvir, an hepatitis C medicine. The patents were not revoked, but uh, the owners of uh, the patent were forced to amend them, demonstrating that the first versions were granted when they should not have. In July 2019, Médecins du Monde filed a new patent opposition, this time against a cancer therapy, Tizagan Leclacel, also known as Kimria, the CAR T-cell therapy against cancer uh, on the cost is about 300,000 euros per person. We attacked the lack of inventive steps, and by doing so, we also aimed at alerting the media, the citizens and the political stakeholders about the prices of this new uh, kind of cancer therapies. In November 2019, the IP rights owner requested a revocation of their own patent, thereby confirming its abusive nature. Other patents are still in force on this medicine. Uh, our position didn't allow the production of biosimilar patients. However, this patent opposition demonstrates monopoly abuses on new cancer treatments and reinforces the advocacy for prices on this kind of medicine. Thank you.